going to attempt to learn five different yo-yo tricks varying from easy to difficult. Now, because I'm what you might call an experienced yo-yo player, I'm only going to give myself 15 minutes to learn each of these yo-yo tricks. Now, all the tricks I'm going to be learning today are tricks that I can't already do. And to add an icing on the cake, if I fail to learn the trick within 15 minutes, I have to zap myself with, with this thing. How does that... <laughs> So the first trick is this bouncy triangle thing. I've actually been taught how to do this trick before, but I always kind of forget as to how to do it. So, all right, let's try this one. The way the trick works is like this, kind of go up and you leave it there. And then that looks right. And then, oh, you bounce it. And then I don't know where you pop, you might want to, right, this cross, that's incorrect. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yo, I got that. Oh, wait. Ugh. Boing, boing. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, this trick, this is supposed to be the easy trick. I'm struggling with this. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. I think it's from the back. Boom. Ah, oh, easy. That took me like two minutes. Next. Hey guys, so some of you have been asking how to do the water drop emoji, so I got you. Here's how to do it. Land check these. Then you're going to place your knock or head inside the string like this. Okay. Then you're going to these fingers towards you. From here, you're gonna take this string with your third hand pointing finger and spread it apart. Then drop the yo-yo to the front. Ooh. From here, you're gonna rotate both of these fingers back down. Ah. Oh. The then you're gonna rotate both of your hands around the yo-yo clockwise until these two strings end up at the bottom of the yo-yo. Then you're gonna spread both oh. of these strings apart. Now the last step is to drop the yo-yo. Oh, what? These two fingers okay, that didn't work. work. All right, but I think I've got the general mechanic of it. All right, so it's pretty simple. I think this trick is pretty easy. Something like that. And then you like, ah, oh, ah, oh, yo, this is way too easy. I'm the freaking man. All right, we're now outside the realm of TikTok and this is Mr. Mario. He's like a tutorial guy that uh, every, every yo-yo basically learns tricks off of him. I reckon I'm gonna be able to get this one in like under a minute. It starts off with something like that. Then you kind of like, oh wait, hold on. You roll off, I think, or roll, roll so. Ah! And then you... What? I don't know, wait, what? Somehow this is supposed to land in something like, like a double triangle, something like that. But I don't really know how the- For me, the third trick was pretty difficult. I actually had to look closely at the tutorial to really understand how it worked. But after a few minutes, this happened. Just drop from the back. Boom! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Took me slightly longer, but... I'm counting that. Okay, so this next one has like this 3D slap element to it. I, I don't have very many of these tricks. I think this one's gonna be a medium, but it looks pretty simple. So, starts off there, he hooks it there, and then something, uh, uh oh. Maybe something like that, ah! Okay, yo, this one's hard. I don't understand this one. I this trick was difficult for a multitude of reasons. It was pretty complex and the 3D slack had me confused. I actually chewed through almost all of my time trying to learn this yo-yo trick. Fortunately, Yo-Yo Joe took the time to explain this trick in detail and if it wasn't for his obsessive teaching style, I probably wouldn't have been able to get this trick. Go subscribe to Yo-Yo Joe. All right. Okay, vertical, there, straight, go, vertical. <laughs> <gasps> oh, yo! Okay, all right, all right, all right. Is that, is that? Oh, that's right. Yo, I got it. You ain't zapping me today, boy. Now, before we tackle the last trick, the more perceptive of you will realize I'm not using my normal outlier slash deviant. I'm using this. For the hardcore yo-yo players, personally, I like to use rounded yo-yos when learning tricks, just because it's a lot more comfortable, it takes a little bit of the pressure off, and it's just kind of easier to learn tricks on a rounded yo-yo. So thesis yo-yos and offset yo-yos teamed up to build this, the Omniscient. This so if you want a yo-yo that's good for tech, check out the Omniscient by Thesis and Offset Yo-yos on the Offset Yo-yo website. All right, plugs over. Starts off with something like that, I think. And then he does a, ooh. 
He goes, oh, that down. Ugh. Oh, like that. This year trick was leaps and bounds ahead of any of the other tricks. It was very complicated and super difficult. Even if I understood what to do, I couldn't land the trick with enough precision to progress on learning it. If you guys want me to redo this video and you choose the tutorials, comment down below what tricks you want me to learn. That's it. Alright.